Well, we're here at Chuck Steak's house. It's very traditional. Steak's house, one of the best. And Chuck himself is here, you know? Hey, Chuck, thanks for inviting us to your restaurant. Oh, man, you're welcome. <laughs> the camp is incredible. And now Chuck come over here to get that vibe going. And we're happy, we're ready to go. Thank you guys so much. Ah, é muito importante, né? O Tio Cridel, o Glover, pô, dois caras aí que também eles têm uma, uma boa amizade, pô, fizeram vários camps junto, né? Muita experiência, né? E muita experiência junto aí. Sei que cada um pensa de uma forma, mas quando pô, tem essa, essa junção aí, pô, acho que tudo fica melhor, né? Então, pô, tô sempre escutando, né? Tudo que tá acontecendo na minha vida, não tem como não ficar feliz. Chama. Oh. And still, baby, let's go. We're at the UFC Performance Institute. I'm a week out from the fight, doing great. Everything's been in-house at the UFC Performance Institute with the coaches, the physical therapists, the dietitians, so we're dialed in, just uh, keeping the short sharp. So what we worked on today, we worked on upper body power and lower body power. Um, we kind of did a little contrast, so we were looking at pushing into something that doesn't move to kind of generate force, and then throw on that weight as if it was the same force that we were doing it at. So he just brings a lot of energy. He's been working on a lot of strength, so it's nice to see him build that up and see how that plays into all, all of his athletic dynamic movements on the mats. This is a special card, top to bottom. Uh, the UFC has made amazing matchups with Amazing athletes to, to stack this card for 300. Um, it's going to be a historic night. You know, for Davidson and I to open up the card, it shows a lot about what we're able to do, the drawing power that I have, to be able to fill the seats early on at 3 p.m., for them to be in for a great night of fights, action packed from the first fight to the main event. So uh, I'm just excited to go in there and show all my hard work and skill that I've been working on with my team, my coaches, and my inner circle. Just go out there and, and have fun, enjoy it, and get this big win. Uh, open the card with a with a bang at UFC 300. And, and be able to enjoy the night after. Yeah, back on the ninth island, feel just like home, man. I, I can't wait. You know, I can't wait to go out there. In UFC 300, being a part of it. You guys are about to see a bunch of Hawaiian flags in there. To share the octagon with a guy like Gaethje, in a place like this, on an event like this, UFC 200, couldn't ask for anything better. The chatter is that everybody's looking forward to our fight, and uh, I can't wait for it to happen. So, Aljo, when you're starting to drill and starting to rep, I want you to really just like focus, right? So that you're getting good reps and not just getting reps for the sake of getting reps, right? So like, the reality is, is that the focus is just as important, and that's focusing on doing it right. Uh, we're at the UFC PI right now, working on some stuff. Uh, I have Dean Thomas kind of overseeing, watching, giving some feedback, um, training with Dennis Bazookia, and just kind of going through the fights, uh, some possible scenarios and things like that, things I want to do, things that Calvin might be looking to do, and just trying to stay as sharp and dialed in as we possibly can. I've known Aljo for many, 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 many years. He's a tremendous talent, so I just wanted to be able to give him permission to be creative and be a creative type of fighter. For me, Dean is good because he's got great insight. You know, OG of the game, uh, student of the game still to this day, analyzes the sport still. You know, he's just been willing to help, and it's nice to have someone who's kind of overseeing a lot of the things that you're doing, giving some constant feedback, breaking down the small, minute details that might not seem that big, but really do make big differences in your training style and your mindset in approaching fights. I think this, this time we're going to get to see a re-energized, refocused Alzheimer Sterling. And having that extra 10 pounds, is going to, I think it's going to make a world of a difference, getting me back to who I used to be. I'm looking forward to this challenge. I think it's going to be a great show for the fans and really show the world and introduce them again to myself, but this time at 145 and show that I'm a title contender. Jamal did everything he needed to do to get that Achilles back to where it needed to be, and he's ready to rock and roll, man, Saturday night. Everybody thinks Alex is this amazing striker, um, and at the end of the day, it, Jamal is 
levels of an entrepreneur. This fight needed to happen to show the world that Jamal Hill is the best striker in the UFC. You know, everybody's gonna see us Saturday night. And it's, it's, there's gonna be no question after that. Yeah. This champ energy ain't here, man. All this greatness. That's sick, bro. I'm enjoying the time right now. I got my team out here with me. We're just having fun, bro. We're just enjoying life right now. Coming from dealing with the injury, you can take it for granted sometimes. These moments are special. They don't come there. They're, they're going to be gone one day. And right now, in these moments, I want to enjoy them to the, to the fullest I can, the most I can with my guys, with my team, with my people. Showing up to the Apex, seeing everybody, seeing all the other champions and all the other fighters that are going to be on the card, it feels great. It feels great being in this moment, seeing everybody, seeing everybody locked in, sharp, ready to go. You see the level that everybody is bringing to this card and it makes you want to bring your A game because you don't want to be that guy that's lacking on the card. This card is amazing, full of a bunch of warriors. And you got to bring your A game. You got to bring your A game. Up here in these beautiful Red Rock Mountains. Reminds me a little bit of Red Rocks when we run at home. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, let's go. We have a, a piece that we found getting off the highway that's it's a lot of rolling hills, which would be cool. So it's just, again, you know, challenging his legs at different times. So he gets a little bit of recovery. This will work. Man, what a beautiful day to be running. <laughs> Today's all about firing my legs up. Uh, first thing that goes in a fight is your legs. So, you know, we've really put a focus on making sure that doesn't happen. I love fighting in Vegas. I love being in Vegas. I've been coming here since I was a young child to compete. And so it's just, um, you know, a testament to what hard work will get you. Um, you know, I get to come out here and fight in front of thousands of people. And for some reason, you guys want to film me while I run which is pretty cool. Good work. Wrapping up the final hard week for Whaley. Last hard week of training camp. Putting the last little fine tuning on everything and uh, just making sure she's mentally sharp and ready to go. Since day one, I've been you know, working with foreign fighters and maybe a lot of fighters that don't speak English. And the one, the one language we all speak is violence, is fighting. You know, We all kind of understand what we need to do. She can understand what I'm saying. I can understand you know, what she's telling me. And it's been, it's been really easy. Today,主要我们做一些技术上的把，呃，就是打靶的技术的这样的一些训练，然后让自己的身体呃，就是更更更丝滑，对，像水一样，更丝滑，更柔顺。Smooth like. 非常非常就是值得每一个每一个人每一个呃UFC MMA 粉丝值值得关注的。I'm so excited for UFC 300.